Pisces, welcome to your career and money reading for November and the beginning of December. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Wellness and thank you very much for visiting my channel. Okay, so current, this is the current energy. So this is a change card. This is also a mindset card. So very interesting. And so next placement is sources. Let's see. Oh, what's coming up for you? Lots of cards there. I'm just going to pick one, not a whole bunch. I'm not even looking at those ones. Okay, there we go. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the sources. So that is the Ace of Cups. That's excellent. I can't wait to get into these. Okay, so I am picking these two that just came out. This is the opportunities placement. So you have the four of wands. And this is really, really special. So this is celebration, but it's also portal energy. And we have that coming up this week. And so we have the Knight of Wands. That's awesome. Can't wait to get into that either. The opportunities now for your benefits placement. Pisces, let's see. Okay, okay. This does make sense. It is a nine card. That is almost completion. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Crazy awesome. Okay, so you have another one here that is representing the sword mindset energy. So very similar to the beginning where you have the change card and then you have the seven. So you have the seven and this one is, yes, moving away, leaving stuck energy behind. All right, let's get into this. That's awesome. Pisces, that's really, really amazing. So first, you have the change card for the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, this represents. So we, you, are in the Scorpio energy. I'm a Scorpio, so we, that's why Sister Signs, water energy. So with this water energy, you are the water energy of Scorpio, renewal, letting go, evolving, moving on endings of cycles. So there is that endings of cycles. So this could be um, things that you're just done with, you're not going to be dealing with anymore. This could be some toxicity in your life that you are ready to say later, like goodbye, get out. Um, you're gone, leaving you behind. So you have two want swords right there and you have one sword right here. So you're leaving with three swords. So you're leaving with that, that mindset, that mindset that you are worthy, that you are moving forward, that you are leaving behind what's not working. This is also your saying goodbye to the thought processes, the ways of thinking that aren't working for you anymore. And this is the time, this is the month to make those changes, to make those shifts. So your mindset is extremely important when it comes to uh, money and uh, your career and your entrepreneurial business. So with the sources, so the Ace of Cups, wow. So having an abundant cup as your source. This is really, really beautiful, Pisces. And your energy, isn't that beautiful? And just look at how that's being handed out to you. So that beautiful source energy, you have that overflow that you can take from. So allow yourself to take all of that beautiful positive energy that is being presented to you for this month and moving into next month. There's that beautiful abundance for you. That is gorgeous. That's really beautiful. Wow. And the opportunities that come from that. Oh, I just, I can't get over this reading like that. It's, it's really amazing how there's the beginning and the end of the sword energy. And then all of this, like really like, 
amazingness in the middle and it, it's so awesome so here for your opportunities so your opportunities is you're victorious there is major victory that's happening again i said this is the so this is 11 11 so you can see 11 11 and then also representing portal energy so moving through moving through and going to the other side so maybe stepping out of comfort and moving into growth so definite victory here that is absolutely so those opportunities the many many opportunities that are opening up for you and you have that again so that was fire energy and then the opportunities with more fire energy pisces so the knight i like to call the knight the warrior and so look at that warrior really taking off with the new renewed mindset with the taking off and saying like i'm leaving that stuff that's not working out whatever that is and however that relates to your money career and entrepreneurship i love this card i love this card so much so benefits <laughs> the benefits of not feeling like this anymore so this is the nine of fire the nine of wands so with this energy there it's it's amazing so there is the you've been doing so much work you've been doing a surmountable amount of work and sometimes it feels like you are or you have been beat up and exhausted and you're you just kind of feel wiped out and so with this energy showing that it is coming to an end. So everything is going to be working out really, really well for you moving into some really awesome energy. So this one here, now notice the two swords that are in the ground and they're not leaving. Those ones are the ones that you're leaving behind. That is that stuck energy. That is that mindsets that aren't working for you. And again, how at the beginning, there's that change, loving that, loving that. And now with that seven, kind of moving up there and going and leaving with the five. So there's this new mindset energy. There's this new flow. So there's the new way to perceive things. This is extremely important as you're moving into the next year. So of 2022, moving with the mindset that's working for you, moving with the way that makes you feel really good. So this is talking about um, communication. This is talking about learning. This is talking about like, look at all of this, this knowledge. So there's, there's a lot of, um, and what I love about this is the age of Aquarius. So with the age of Aquarius, the universal energy really, really working very well for you, Pisces, because this, this actually means a whole lot that you now have five, you now have five, you started off with three and then two that you let go of, you're still allowing two, you're still doing that renewal, you're still allowing that energy to stay behind and now you're moving with even new, more mindset. So that could be that communication, You it, that could be like that boost of confidence. The sword energy, the air energy, the Aquarian energy represents that there is that uniqueness there's that creativity so there's so much that there's so much potential that's why i love this so much there is so much potential to this card there's so much potential to the energy the outcome that is like really unfolding and really going to be um growing very very big for you so moving into 2022 really big so um do all of the work keep all of your mindset really really positive you have this source of abundance to pull from to harness that gorgeous energy that is yours and then you have all of this fire energy all of this work all of this victorious energy you will not be feeling this way for much longer 
the mindset, create creativity, the growth. It's amazing. I love it. I absolutely love this. Pisces, this is such an amazing reading for November and moving into December and preparing you for your prosperity in 2022. This is absolutely beautiful. Have an amazing November moving into December. If you would like your own personal reading, all of the information is below. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for coming and listening to me and thank you so much for all of your support. Have a beautiful, gorgeous, November moving into December. Mwah.